I don't know if you're going to believe what just happened, but I saw you when I was browsing around on YouTube today. What's going on everyone? Just going to do a real quick review on this Stanley multi-purpose saw that I took out with me on my hammock backpacking trip. Um, got a lot of comments and questions about it and um, people asked me how much it costed and where I got it so I just figured I'd do a real quick little mini review. Basically what this is is it's a, a Stanley multi-purpose utility saw that I picked up at Home Depot for I believe about $12. They do sell it on their website online, so if you don't want to, f can't find it in your store, you can order it online um, and have if it if they ship to you. But I believe it's a 10-inch cutting edge. Let me try and measure that for you. And the handle I believe is five inches. Yeah, about a 10-inch cutting edge, and the handle about five inches. So overall, you're looking at about 14.75 inches long. Um, if you're looking at whether or not it'll fit in a backpack, um, we'll check the weight on it. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera a little bit. Zero that out. Looking at about 7.4 ounces, you add the, you know, homemade duct tape sheath. You're looking at a little bit over 8 ounces. Um, speaking of the sheath, sorry, I just bumped the camera big time. Um, speaking of the sheath, didn't really come with one. It had this little cardboard um, cardboard makeshift sheath and all I did was just wrap some duct tape around it reinforce the corners so that the blade fits in there and doesn't slide out um, and it'll fit in there safely inside of your backpack or well I don't know it could still pop out of there but I wasn't really worried about it um, serve the purpose pretty well now I found this saw to work reasonably well the teeth are pretty darn aggressive for the price that you're paying for it. Um, I've sawed through a lot of logs, um, different types of wood, out backpacking and camping and also at home a little bit. Um, and it still saws pretty well. Um, Stanley says that it's a three-sided tooth um, edge, cutting edge design, so um, they, they put it as pretty darn aggressive. Um, this is basically a high finish saw, so they call it, um, it's ideal for providing a high quality finish as well as um, you know just sawing through wood, plastic pipe, laminate, um, all kinds of stuff. It's just a good all around multi-purpose saw. Um, and basically what I've used it for is I've cut through a whole lot of pine which definitely isn't the most dense wood but you know typically that's what a lot of people use their saws for um, when they're out in the mountains and in the woods. Um, if you come across a harder wood you definitely will want to exercise more caution when you're sawing through it um, as far as just you don't want to really hunker down and, and just go to town on it. it might take a little bit more patience um, but I think overall this is a pretty good dedicated saw if you're the type of person that doesn't want to spend um, a lot of money on maybe a Sven saw or a um, uh, let's see uh, I'm forgetting um, there's several different size types of saws out there, the saw viver, that are really great quality and honestly they're gonna they're gonna stomp all over this saw but they're also more expensive um, and for what I use it for and for how often I need a saw this has worked pretty darn well for me. Um, it's got a wood handle I found it to be pretty sturdy the blade is, is screwed into the handle by just two screws right here and there's two holes drilled into the blade one here and one here. Um, basically those screws just tighten down um, and hold the, that blade into the handle. Now I have noticed that there is a little bit of of play in the in the blade but it's not anything significant. You can tighten these bolts down and it gets pretty darn tight in there. Um, but that was something I was a little concerned about when I took it out so I took a screwdriver just in case. It's a They're both Phillips screws that you tighten um, but I didn't have to adjust it in the field or anything. It worked um, It worked without developing too much blade play um, in the saw. Now you can see this, the painted logo or label on there um, wore off pretty quickly, which is to be expected. Um, finish doesn't really hold up very well, um, but it still looks, you know, looks fairly good. I don't think you're going to worry about the finish on a saw 
honestly you just you just want it to cut that's its purpose so um anyways you know this just wanted to do a real quick review because i had a few people ask me about it i think this is a uh, one of the better um budget saws out there if you're looking to carry something lightweight in your backpack that that cuts even for an emergency or if you're looking for a saw at home um it's definitely working for me so anyways i got a few questions about it so i just wanted to share where i got it bought this one at home depot they have it on their website i'll put the title obviously in the title and um yeah i hope you guys found this informative and helpful if you're looking for a saw something like this so Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Hope everyone's doing well, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.